Hi, I'm Stephen Dennifer with Free Radio Berkeley. Today we're going to build a, a small transmitter and some other equipment to start a free radio uh, community station. And here we go upstairs to start the process. All right, we're now back up here in the uh, in the shop where everything happens in terms of the transmitters and, and technology. The very uh, basic item that one will need for a, a small low power FM free radio broadcast station is a transmitter. At Free Radio Berkeley we have over the last 15 years been designing and developing a complete line of low power transmitters and other related equipment that help uh, one set up a small station. And I have in front of me some of the basic components. In this case, what we have is a, is a 10 watt transmitter. So we provide these in a variety of forms. You can buy an already assembled uh, transmitter, which is a, in this case, you're looking at a 10 watt uh, transmitter. This is capable of covering a range of maybe up to three or four mile radius. Or as a uh, kit where you receive the actual circuit board, um, I have it in my hand, along with uh, all the parts that are necessary to put this unit together. Um, we can provide complete instructions and other support material for doing this. And you'll find a lot more uh, detail about this on our, on our website where you can download uh, documents, manuals, and other uh, tutorials. What I have um, here in front of me is a 10-watt uh, uh, PLL uh, transmitter that's been fully assembled. PLL stands for Phase Lock Loop Controller. Um, what this means is that there's a particular circuit pointing right here, which actually controls the frequency and keeps it exactly on frequency, the frequency that's been programmed by these series of switches called a dip switch, your eight position dip switch, which is read by a microcontroller chip here. It, it reads this data, transmits it over to this chip, pro basically programs it for the specific frequency that's been set here. Then this <coughs> PLL controller sends a control voltage through this area through a filtering circuit back over to the voltage controlled oscillator which actually produces the FM broadcast frequency that you will be transmitting on. It const this PLL constantly monitors the frequency from the oscillator and correcting it as necessary with this, this uh, correction voltage that's going through. That's why it's a loop here. In other words, it's looping all the way around from here over to the controller then back over to the input of the uh, 
of the oscillator. The oscillator is controlled by a voltage and that's how it's kept on frequency. The uh, audio comes in at this point. This is your audio input from a standard RCA connector. Since audio, since the audio signal itself is a varying voltage, the varying voltage of the audio material will cause the oscillator to shift in frequency slightly one way or the other. That produces your actual FM signal. Frequency modulation. That's how we impart information to this carrier frequency or the broadcast frequency that you've selected. Since the signal of the oscillator itself is very low, it is further amplified through uh, a small amplifier here, uh, through some bit of circuitry, then finally goes to an output transistor which boosts the power to the output level of 10 to 15 watts, fed through this coaxial cable to the output connector which goes to your antenna. And then operating voltage is fed to, the, to this point from these connectors. It's a standard uh, voltage of 13.8 volts, the type of voltage you would have in, in a car battery or car electrical system. Uh, we have a fuse and then just a, a switch. This, um, this unit is supplied either assembled or as a, um, as a kit of parts uh, with a circuit board and all the components uh, required to assemble it. Uh, assembly requires uh, basic electronic skills, uh, being able to solder properly, being able to uh, construct things in a um, thorough manner and attention to detail. Now that we have the uh, the transmitter uh, fully assembled and ready to go, as I, in, my, in my hands here, we can now proceed on to the antenna. Uh, in this case, it's a uh, dipole antenna, and these are uh, these uh, kits, along with all the other kits, are fabricated here at our, at our, our shop in uh, in Oakland, California. The uh, the antenna uh, is. Right here, this is a uh, called a dipole antenna. We um, we can provide this to you fully assembled and tuned to a frequency that you specify, or you may also uh, purchase as a as a kit, which is actually composed mostly of items that you would find at a, at a hardware store, um, PVC pipe fittings. Aluminum, aluminum tubing, uh, cut to length, and the other uh, other components being a couple clamps, a bracket, a connector, and, and a few and a few screws. So that basically uh, is everything that goes into making up this dipole antenna, uh, either. As again, I said, either assembled or as a kit, which we uh, can provide to you. Anyway, proceeding on uh, to a few details regarding this uh, dipole antenna. Dipole antenna is your basic fundamental antenna used for broadcasting. It comes in various, very comes in various forms and configurations, but this is your most basic form. The length of this element, or actually both elements, <coughs> the length of the elements is a function of the frequency. The lower the frequency, the longer the element length. The higher the frequency, the shorter the element length. So basically, we adjust the length of this total length here 
to tune it to a specific frequency that's been chosen. Now that we have our uh, transmitter, our antenna, you will need a few other items to complete your broadcast station. Uh, the first is the power supply, which is used to convert AC voltage to the required DC voltage by the transmitter. Uh, the standard sort of desk type power supply that we provide with the uh, transmitters. And then for your audio uh, input, as I you require line level input. In this case, you can use a, a mixer of your choice. Output of your mixer goes then to a compressor limiter. This is to keep your signal from over modulating, over driving the transmitter and producing uh, distortion and bleeding into the other channels. So this an inexpensive compressor limiter that sets your audio level so it does not exceed a preset point. So the output from, from your compressor limiter goes to the input of the transmitter uh, and it's fed of course from, from the mixer. A lot of these functions could actually be done on a computer with the right combination of hardware and software if you want to keep it low budget. We provide, um, as I said, all the the basic equipment kits that you need to set up a small uh, community FM free radio station and uh, it's really a very uh, you know, very straightforward process of, of the transmitter connecting to the antenna via cable the antenna is up outside on, on a roof and then your audio is then fed uh, to the transmitter and that's that's your station. You can make it as complex or as simple as you want and then invite you to um, you know, come to our website uh, for all the details, the information on how to set it up and um, we will uh, see you on the airways and season back from the corporations. <laughs>